I bought an abandoned river. <clears throat> That's obviously kind of a joke, because um, how could a river be abandoned? But it, it, this property, there wasn't anyone on it, so kind of was an abandoned river. God, it's pretty in the early morning. Okay, I'll show you more about the river. There's a lot of cool little things down here. Uh, but first, let me let you take a tour of the rest of the property. These are our pet red ants. Look how huge they are. I'm sure you guys have them in places you are too, but there's a lot of them in Texas. And they don't make a mound. They just dig a hole in the ground. And what's crazy about these things, for one, when they bite, it really, really hurts. They have little trails. Going that way, that little ant bed right there, I would not be surprised if it's been there for 50 years. So there's actually some of these on my parents' property that I grew up on. And I remember them there when I was a kid and they are still there today. Look at this guy, he found something. What you got? They're still there today. Like they last for years and years, these little ant colonies. My brother and I, okay, I'm gonna tell you a slightly evil story but you know, boys will be boys. My brother and I used to go catch grasshoppers. We would rip their back legs off and set them in there and then just watch those ants tear the grasshoppers apart. So we would take out, you know, a grasshopper's only means of defense. Here's another one. And just watch these ants destroy a grasshopper and drag them down into these holes. We didn't think of it as evil back then. We thought of it as, man, this is fun. So Mayor and I have been taking kids to rivers since they were tiny. Um, we just like going and hanging out in a river, letting them splash around. We usually get pretty shallow rivers so that the kids could run around and, you know, wouldn't have to have floaties on the whole time. Now all of our kids are big and they can swim. And so we found this river. Hold up, there's more. God, with this property is covered in these red ants. So we found this property. It's a little further away from our house, but it's kind of cool. And it's just a, it's a big property out here. And it's on a beautiful river that's deeper so kids can jump and swim and play. We just wanted a place we can come hang out whenever. And I like investing in things. Property is usually, if you do it right, a really good investment. And so let me show you around the new river ranch. First, I feel like I should show you guys the mansion on the property. As you know, I don't, I don't buy houses. I buy mansions. Abandoned ones, like really scary ones that need a lot of work. This is no different. This is a big abandoned mansion with a lot of potential. A lot of potential, pretty much infinite potential. Because it's not actually a mansion, it's just a, it's like an RV shed. So like unlimited potential. I could literally build this into whatever I wanted, uh, which I probably would just leave it like this, honestly. Yeah, but it has a spot you could park an RV, keep it out of the sun and rain. There also is a weird kind of little pergola over here. It's not really weird in itself. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's got a little swing over here. The weird part is it's not by the river. It's like on the other side of the property, kind of far from the river. So like, I don't really think we'd want to use it here. We'd rather eat down there and hang out down there. But it is here. Should we want to, I guess it's if you lived here, if you had an RV sitting, I mean, there's a lot of concrete work out here. Some stone work over there, it's just cool. And this is an all metal thing. So I guess if you did have an RV here, in here, and you were living here, there's a nice little you know, porch area to hang out. But it's cool. This place does have a well, it does have electricity, it does have septic, just no house. Which is honestly kind of what we want. Also has some like pasture land up here where we could put like goats or cows or something. And there's a little barn. I'm gonna go check it out. I haven't actually looked through it to see what all's in here. Kinda nervous about that. Nice clean little barn. This is cool. What's in this box? What am I gonna find? Probably throw some hay, throw some feed, that kind of thing. Keep raccoons out. Looks like some rats could still get in there. I don't really know what that's for. Interesting. Door number two. Hello? Another little room. What's that for? Anybody know what the heck that is? Looks like you could throw some hay bales in it, but also it looks like you do a bunch of other stuff. What's that? There's one more little like greenhouse area on the end of this barn. Let's see what's in that. Whew, hot in there. <laughs> Barbecue pit. What a deal. But we got some cross fencing in here so we could have some goats or cows or whatever. 
This is cool. Came with a free swing too. So we actually started looking for river properties, I don't know, like a year ago. Mary and I were just kind of like thinking about it. And we were looking for places with houses because I wanted to make an Airbnb. Um, we decided against that probably three months ago. We were like, man, I don't think we really want to run an Airbnb just yet. And I, I do, like, I have dreams of doing something like that. I think it'd be really fun. But I was like, man, right now, I don't think I can handle more on my plate. So we decided, never mind. We told the realtor, hey, we're not, we're not really interested anymore. And she was like, cool. And then, like, two months later, she was like, hey, I know y'all aren't really interested in an Airbnb, but I just found some property, uh, and I think you should come look at it. Like, it was a good deal. It was a good area. And I was like, all right, we'll come look. And just kind of fell in love with the property and the river over here looks so awesome and so we we're like let's go for it you know our kids are only little once let's get us a river property where we can come out here and play whenever we want and so Mary and I came out here we looked at it we did it and we didn't tell our kids about it uh, so we actually brought them out here yesterday for the first time they did not know about it well one of them kind of did you'll see um, and it was great. So let me just show you that clip first and I'll see you guys right back and then we'll head down to the river. There's a freaking jumping dick. How neat is that? What's better, this place or the other place we go in the river? This place. You like this place better? This is like 10 times better. 10 times better? I have no idea. It looks like a float. We'll pull it up and see what's down there. How do you get out of the water? So y'all are saying this is 10 times better than the other place? Yeah. What do you think, Link? It's better. You think it's better? Do you want to tell them, Mom? I already know. What? I heard you talking about it last night. What? <laughs> <laughs> do what? With Uncle Matt. I already heard you. How did you know? Yeah. I knew all you the wanna, time. You wanna, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You want to tell them? Um, this place is ours. Mom and I bought a little river property. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, someone apparently went up that giant tree. Whoa! Uh, new rule, you can't climb this tree. Jeez, that is a big tree. there's a plug on it. Yeah, we got electricity out here. We got us a spot where we can come swim in the river. How excited are y'all? But you weren't sure. You would have. You didn't say anything. It's because I wanted to keep it a secret from you. You were keeping a secret that you knew we were keeping a secret from you. Yes. Dang, this kid's getting too big and smart now. I wait. The trip that you planned that was supposed to be a secret. I also yep. found out that. I'm the one who finds out all the secrets. So cool. That is awesome. All right, who's jumping in first? Is it gonna be me? I'm gonna wait for Casey and Quinn. <laughs> Mayor, jump in. Go. I don't know. We've never been in the water. Ready? Let's find out. Is it fun? It's shallow. <laughs> Is it really? I hit the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luckily not very hard, but yeah, it's, it's all rock, which is interesting. Get out of the water. I'm nervous when it is. Just waits. Mm -hmm. Maybe it probably has like, like glow attached oh, to it. Oh, that's for tying like tubes to. That's totally what that is. That's oh, like, cool. That's an anchor to tie tubes to so we don't float away. That's cool. So you can just sit here and float around, yeah. They have big concrete weights on the bottom of them. All right, jump in, let's go swim. He said it's, he said it's over our head out here somewhere. Oh, oh, at first I didn't shallow. hear you jump in and I was like, Annie! Oh, this water feels good. <laughs> <laughs> so Texas is in a decent drought right now. So he's saying, the guy I bought this place from saying it's usually a couple feet higher here. Do it, Link. <laughs>
this fire pit seen better days. What is a chain for? Do we put the picnic table and barbecue pit on this one or the other one down there by the trucks? I don't know either. This one's huge. You have a big picnic table here. Maybe we just have, I don't know. We'd have to build a hangout, like a thing to go out into the water right yeah, here too. Deck. Which would be cool, but that deck's so cool. It's kind of sad to waste that deck. Just bring it over here. Two decks. That's true. Kid deck down there, and this is the adult area. No, this is adult. We're gonna have it's cause of the grass. itchy. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna mow and it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna get a lawnmower, weed eater. I'm gonna clear it. It's gonna be like a golf course down here. Which river do you like more, than the one we normally go to or this one? This one. Link, what do you Good. think? <laughs> He's special. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> nice shades. Hey, which one do you like more? This one or the other one we go to, the shallower? You like this? This is the one? No. I hate this one. Yeah, me too. It's, it's so terrible. It's the worst. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, you're back. Kids are pumped, as you can tell. And it's just a really, really pretty property. So all of this area is actually in the floodplain, though. So whenever we get a really heavy flood, water will come up over this area. So you can't build on this part. So we can't actually build anything close to the water, if we were going to build, unless you put it on stilts, which we're not going to do. We don't really have any interest in doing that. So if we're ever going to build like a little house, which we've talked about building like a tiny home or something, and putting it up on the higher part of the property, It'd be kind of cool. We also got to figure out like a bathroom. We don't have any bathroom out here. There is a septic. So I'm like, which could probably use your opinions on this. What if I get just one of those like sheds that's sitting outside like Home Depot or Lowe's, you know? And we just put a toilet in one of those and maybe a window unit. We got a little little bathroom out here. And so it'll just be like for camping or when our friends come out, it's got a bathroom. Look at this pretty river. So you saw in the other clips there is this platform plus the other one uh, with like the dock on it not really sure what either one of them i don't know why there's two really there's some big old boulders over here there's a weird concrete like path going right there to nothing kind of just getting to that ridge there's a big culvert and then there's some like parking blocks here but then there's this huge poured slab here which there was never a building on it because that would get flooded away instantly but there's also um, nothing on the concrete is clear. It was just made to be a concrete slab. So I'm assuming people had picnic stuff on it, barbecue stuff on it, that kind of thing. And then there's this weird kind of step down here with some ties to probably hook either a floating dock to, is what I would think, or boats. Not really sure. There's also, I don't know if like a, I don't know what that is. There's just a big metal pipe sticking out of the ground right there. I don't know if they like had an umbrella in there or something. Possible. We do have a pump like a sump pump going down here so we do have water here i don't know where the water goes to but he says this pump works we also have electricity so you can see we got electric running up we got plugs on the tree and we've got lights up there he says they all work as well and then the other concrete platform is more of the kid friendly area because it also has the big wooden dock that as you saw my kids really enjoy jumping off of another little concrete kind of bridge kind of dam i'm sure when the water comes up higher it all flows through this little secondary gully here and so they just have kind of a little dam area that you can get across while the water is high but not you know flooding flooding and then another little concrete pad down there i don't i don't get what some of this stuff is this concrete doesn't make sense to me why it's down here multi-tiered i see a little bluegill so we've got that there then this is like four different levels going down. I don't know why. And then a cool little dock for hanging out, for fishing, or if your kids, jumping. So that's it. This is a really, really cool river. It's nice and big here, so it's pretty still, but it's still flowing really well, so it's clean water. And I'm really excited about this. So we got plenty of land now. I told my kids since we have fences, we can get goats. We can get cows, whatever they want. They've been wanting to get it at our other property, but we don't have the fences around yet. We're gonna get fences eventually, but I was like, keep telling, wait till we get fences in, guys, and we just haven't, because we haven't even finished the house yet. And they're like, we want goats now. So I was like, hey, we'll go and goats out here, and we'll come out here a few times a week, hang out the river, play with the goats, 
be the best life ever. So I'm also thinking, and I need your help on this, building a tiny home, like doing a lot of it, most of it myself. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Building just like a little, a little bitty thing that like we could sleep in it, um, but like most of the time we'd be camping. So maybe just be like Mare and I would sleep in it. Kids would camp outside. I don't know. We're just trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Right now, we're just gonna come out here, play at the river. I'm gonna get, uh, probably do some yard work out here. Bring a lawnmower down here. I need to get a big heavy duty weed eater to get through some of this big brush and just get everything cleaned up. I wanna just make this river edge really nice and fun and snake free. Cause we haven't seen any snakes yet, but it looks like a good place that some snakes would like to be. Look at this freaking tree. <laughs> it's huge. I think this is called a bald cypress tree. So giant and kind of crazy looking in here. It's like kind of looks burned, but I bet it's not. But it, it's weird. Anyway, just want to show you that giant tree. There's a bunch of them. The riverbank is lined with these huge trees. And some of them have a perfect branch for rope swing. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think about a new river property. Mary and I just came to the realization the other day that our kids are only going to be in our house for like 10 more years. So we decided to make the most of it. We're going to try to have as much fun with them while we can because they're old. My youngest is eight years old and he is leaving our house in 10 years. Our oldest is leaving our house in like six and a half years. So we're going to have some fun, Demolisha. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and hope you're excited to see some River House content coming up. Thanks for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number... Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare.